I am Andy Smedegard. We are here at Gridlife Gingerman Raceway, and we are racing my GLTC BRZ. So this is our first GLTC weekend with this car in this trim with the FA24 and we are actually really proud of where it's at. We qualified fourth and I really didn't even think it would be there. The car is so simple compared to a lot of these cars that are here. It is a, it's an unopened FA24. You know, still with the RTV in the, the pickup. Haven't touched it, opened it at all. Uh, the, you know, this, everything from the suspension, the transmission, it's all very, very basic BRZ stuff. There's nothing fancy about anything. And that most of these cars out here are all, you know, crazy LS swapped. Lots of K and LSs, sequentials, everything. And, and this car you could rebuild for 30 grand. Uh, and yeah, fourth in qualifying, going into the race, I, I feel pretty good. The car is really easy to drive. Uh, I think that's going to help, you know, the racecraft aspect of it a bit. We can we can kind of bully some of those guys in front of us to try to make them, you know, mess up and hopefully get, gain a few positions. So GLTC is a power to weight series. Forgot the exact power to weight, 12 and a half to one or something. Uh, but it's around, you know, it, this thing, for example, makes about 205 horsepower, weighs about 2,700 pounds. There are some modifiers depending on, you know, aero, that kind of stuff. But one really cool advantage with the Link is again, you don't need any special cable subscription and it's pretty easy to use. Uh, and a lot of events, they have an on-site dyno here to do compliance checks and you might need to detune, you know, drop the power down and Link makes that really easy drive-by-wire, it's got torque management, you can easily dial in whatever power you want. This one, uh, this engine makes about 215 uncorked, but I brought it down to about 205 for competition, and it is super consistent. When I detune it and do pull after pull after pull, it's within one horsepower, maybe two horsepower. We've had other cars before where maybe the ECU is a little slower, they're just not consistent. You know, we'll see variances of five, six horsepower, and what that means is now you have to give yourself a bigger buffer. Because if you get impounded, come off track and pop the dyno, you're immediately DQ'd. So having that consistency is super critical and Link gives that to you. 